leaving Las Vegas may have been some sort of revolutionary and credited for telling an important story back in 1995, but today it does not quite hold up with the big guns. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. Firstly, I do get why people may like this movie because it seems to have a deeper meaning that no matter how low you are in the ranks among society, you can still find some joy in life. A relationship between two designated low lives like a drunk and a hooker is an unlikely love story. And that is also well portrayed in the movie. It kind of shows that even for a drunk and a hooker, life is not always that hopeless. Even though you go through harsh trials and tribulations, I can also see why people may like the POV filming that you later have seen in a lot of reality shows, and even call that revolutionary. And that mood that is created by filming in a way with the montage attached to the music, even the role from Nicolas Cage is perhaps hailed as his best role, which may have much to do with the fact that he is out of his comfort zone here. The way he plays this really hard alcoholic is very good and I can see why some people may think of it as his best role. But why do I feel it does not hold up today? Personally I think the movie in itself lacks depth. It is very thin in terms that there is just a love story between these two unlikely people and not a whole lot more. I even liked this movie more in the beginning before Cage's character even went to Vegas because then you could see him in the bar living the lonely life and everything going against him and you could really see why he was going to Vegas to drink himself to death. Of course he succeeded in that venture but I think this has a too thick romance arc to really be that entertaining. I just wish personally there was something more to it. Yes the couple has an array of problems between them but the story in itself is a bit limited for my taste, given that so many scenes portray the deep relation that develops between them, and there are not any other elements. Personally, I also think Nicolas Cage has delivered better in later roles like in Face Off and in The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, where he is more this crazy Nick character, which is just something no other actor is able to match. I can see why someone may like his role in this one, because it is a more serious movie. But I do feel it is quite far from his best performance, because for me Nicolas Cage is born to be this crazy character and like the example was with Leonardo DiCaprio, I don't necessarily feel they should have had an Oscar for the movie they wanted in. Cage could have had one for Face Off and DiCaprio could have had one for Catch Me If You Can. The fact that it is filmed in his POV style and the montage scenes with the music is something I rather don't feel holds up today. It may work in a reality show, but in the better movies these days, you just do not see that type of filming, which may have been revolutionary back in 1995, but clearly it is not the case these days. Although the montage with the music is something you see in some movies done today like the holdovers, but not in the best movies among the ranks. To me, the movie is not necessarily slow, but it does bore you in a lot of moments. Where there's not too much going on, just talking to the sun goes down, the movie does portray alcoholism and the life of a hooker in a brutal way at times, but it could of course be even more brutal. But movies such as Irreversible do not take the brutality to the next level either, but maybe that is something you don't want to do in a more lighthearted serious love story. Personally, I feel this movie has a lot of similarities with other popular movies that I feel do not hold up today like Casino and Goodfellas, but of course those are different movies, but it is also some of the more serious style and dialogue you see in this movie. Mainly my core argument was of course that it is too thin, because it just has the love story between these two unlikely people, the drunk and the hooker, that's why for me my rating would be a 5 out of 10, and I clearly do not feel it holds up today.